Hello my friends and welcome back to our channel Home is where our heart is. My name is Dane, author of the book Knowledge to Forage. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world and thank you all for joining me here today on this cold dark winter's afternoon. The winters can be quite a dark gloomy place. The woodlands leaves have all fallen to the ground. The flowers are no longer blooming. The only colours to see are dark ivory greens, browns and greys. That's why today I thought we'd find a special little mushroom. A mushroom of a beautiful colour that can brighten even the darkest winter's day. And that little bright red mushroom goes by the name of the Scarlet Elf Cup. So if you're interested, then come with me and let's dive into the world of the Scarlet Elf Cup Mushroom. So firstly, to find Scarlet Elf Cup Mushrooms, we need to understand two things. One, the season they grow in, and two, their habitat. Now, Scarlet Elf Cup Mushrooms are what's known as a winter's mushroom. This means that they thrive. They love to grow in the colder months of the year. So you'll most likely find Scarlet Elf Cups in the woodland in the winter time. Where I live in the UK, this is usually between November and April time. And then we have their habitat. Where do Scarlet Elf Cups love to grow? Now, Scarlet Elf Cups love to grow in damp, wet, mossy woodland, just like this woodland you see behind me. You see how it's all green across the ground and the earth is curved so it's even more damp than a flat woodland? These are the perfect conditions for Scarlet Elf Cups. Plus, I can see that this woodland's been battered by storms. There's fallen trees and plant debris all over the ground, increasing my chances of finding some of the brilliantly beautiful bright red Scarlet Elf Cups. Wow, would you just look at this beautiful bright green mossy woodland. Let's just take a moment to bask in the ambiance Oh, of that beautiful winter's woodland. Now, Scarlet Elf Cups, even though they're bright red, can sometimes be hard to find. You might get lucky and they'll be growing on a branch propped up against a tree, but most of the time they're hidden beneath the debris beneath our feet under old leaves or the moss itself. So when walking through the woodland, make sure to keep a focused eye on the ground around you, looking for any signs of that bright scarlet red. So here we found a beautiful young little family of scarlet elf cups, also known as crimson elf cups, mossy cups, fairy baths, but their Latin name is Sarcosifa cochinea, which means flesh drinking bowl. Aren't they absolutely beautiful? Now to identify Scarlet Elf Cups is super, super simple. Firstly, they're cup shaped and they're bright red, scarlet red. On the outside of this cup, it's a much more lighter creamy shade of red compared to the dark red on the inside. The outside of this cup will also get a lighter shade of red as it ages. Then when these Scarlet Elf Cups are fully grown and they've matured, this cup also begins to get some cracks around the rims. Now, when we look closely at the Scarlet Elf Cup, when you look beneath the cup, we can see it's got a, a stem, a light creamy stem that joins it to the twig. Now, the great thing about Scarlet Elf Cups is they're super easy to identify and super easy for beginners, hey, because there's nothing you can really mistake them for. There's two things you should know when foraging for Scarlet Elf Cup mushrooms. Firstly, there's two types of Scarlet Elf Cups, the Scarlet Elf Cup and the Ruby Elf Cup. But you can't tell the difference between the two with the naked eye. You actually need a microscope to tell the difference. So everyone just considers them the same mushroom, kind of like identical twins. Both of them are edible, so there's nothing to worry about. And then secondly, there's only one other mushroom that you could potentially confuse the Scarlet Elf Cup for, and that's what's called an orange peel fungus. 
but that doesn't grow at the same time of year as the Scarlet Elf Cups and it also is bright orange. So there's really nothing to worry about when foraging for these beautiful mushrooms. Now, you can probably see there's lots of little Scarlet Elf Cup mushrooms, little baby ones growing all around this big one because whenever you find one, keep looking around it because you'll most likely find many more. Now there's a fun fact about this mushroom and that this is a mushroom that you can sometimes hear because when it shoots its spores into the air, the cup kind of goes and it releases what looks like a, a smoke. These are the mushrooms spores that spread throughout the woodland creating more scarlet elf cups. And if you're lucky, sometimes you can trigger this yourself by giving the cup a little blow. Let's have a little try now to see if we can sit off the mushroom spores. This one isn't ready to do its sporulating yet. Perhaps it's just too young and it is very damp and wet in here too. But when it does, they go with smoke. <laughs> now, scarlet elf cups are a great value to wildlife and they're also edible to us humans too. And they're most commonly used chopped up into stir fries or made into little canopies. The mushroom is packed with say cheese and wild garlic or some cleaver's pesto and you can have yourself a little wild canopy. And that's really, really cool if you run foraging courses or perhaps a forest school. Now some sources say you can eat scarlet elf cups fresh while others say you must cook them first and most people cook them first just to be safe. Now we know this beautiful red mushroom has many health benefits of course because it's bright red. It's these natural pigments in nature that are great for our health because they work as antioxidants in our body. Scarlet elf cups pigment can help our body fight off diseases and also boost our immune system. Now, historically, in the medicinal world of herbalism, scarlet elf cups were used by the Native Americans. They used this mushroom to help wounds stop bleeding and they'd also apply them to babies belly buttons. Just after they'd cut the umbilical cord, this is the mushroom they'd apply to the baby's bellies to help them heal and recover from that little wound. So this mushroom isn't just great for our health, it's also great for the health of the woodlands it grows in too. This is because this mushroom is what's called saprobic. This means it's breaking down this branch and then releasing all the goodness within back into the soil. It's gifting it all back to the earth and all this nutrients and all this nutrition and all these minerals then go into the soil, feed the flowers and everything else that's going to bloom in spring. So this little mushroom is a generous mushroom indeed. Now, when it comes to the mythology and folklore that surrounds the Scarlet Elf Cup, I'm pretty sure you can guess what that, that folklore and mythology kind of surrounds the Scarlet Elf Cup. <laughs> of course, that's elves. Now, the Scarlet Elf Cup is called the Scarlet Elf Cup. One, because it's scarlet red. And secondly, it's because in ancient Europe, all the thousands of years ago, it was believed that the woods were filled with many weird and wonderful mystical beings. And it was thought that at dawn, when the sun was rising, that the elves, the wood elves, would come out from the woods and take sips of the morning dew from these bright red mushrooms and it also has its name the fairy bath from this era too because it was believed that when it rained and the scarlet elf cups filled with rain that the fairies would come along and bathe within these mushrooms <laughs> <laughs> and there we have it people, the Scarlet Elf Cup Mushroom, a wild edible mushroom that brightens the winter's woodlands, that nourishes our health and helps the flowers bloom in spring. A mushroom that was once a cup and a bath used by mystical beings. <laughs> <laughs> For me, the Scarlet Elf Cup is a great reminder that no matter how dark or grey the day may seem, that there's always beauty to be found, especially out in nature. 
as always people it's been a pleasure don't forget to do all their modern world things such as like and subscribe to this channel ring the bell leave a comment to say hello follow us on all our social medias and if you want to own a big book full of knowledge just like this then make sure to check out our book called knowledge to forage and most importantly of all look after yourself i'll see you all next time peace Scarlet elf cups light up the woodlands, a stunning shade of red. Beneath the moss, under the leaves, be careful where you tread. As the sun rises, the birds begin to sing. The elves toast their scarlet cups as the fairies clean.